Hi everyone, Martin here again. When you begin in manufacturing or creating your own products to sell for profit, my advice is not to go for the easy ebook. Uh, ebooks are okay as giving away as free information because you can automate that system uh, by having an opt in box on your page. Someone leaves their first name and email. As soon as they press the submit button, your autoresponder can send them an email with a link to a downloadable product which they can actually view, and that's how you start building the list. But for actual physical products, people still like to receive products in a physical manual, or uh, which I like, DVDs or audio CDs. Now, this is where people get tied up with automation straight away. Well, when you're beginning to start off your internet marketing career or selling products or whatever you want to call it, information publishing, how about that? Remember that you've probably got a large target audience which don't know how to use a computer. That could put them off with buying your product. So if you've got uh, either a written manual or a DVD or CD product and you're marketing it offline via a mailing list or a classified ad in the paper, not everybody knows how to download digital products and as a result of that they won't buy your, your product if that is the only format you do it in. Make sure that when you send out a mail-in or a classified ad or you send somebody to a web page, you allow them to purchase a physical manual or a product, a DVD or CD product, through the post rather than an instant download to a video tutorial. A lot of people don't understand that about open, open files up, for example. So if you're targeting niche marketers, in other words, in various niches, a lot of, a lot of people are offline. Don't think that they all know how you can open a product digitally. A lot of people haven't got a clue. So bearing in mind, that's a little tip there for you. Make sure you provide offline postal methods of delivering your product as well as online. Preferably offline first. Plus it gives you an insight into actually physically creating a product. If you want to create a manual and you don't want to go through the procedure of making them yourself, as I've shown you before with the, uh, the hole puncher in A4 paper and then putting them together, I would recommend that at the beginning because you can do them to order. You haven't got to carry any stock. And obviously the more you start producing and selling, then you want to probably automate that system a little bit better where you can go to a company called lulu.com. Now that is a company where you can actually create your, your actual brochure uh, manual uh, online and they can physically make the product and ship them to you for you to ship out so that saves you actually making them up and as far as the DVD product or CD audio products concerned as I've mentioned to you before all you basically need to get started are free programs which is um, Audacity for your audio recording your audio you need Cam Studio uh, that is a free piece of screen capture software where you can record what's on your computer screen. I do if you're actually filming a PowerPoint presentation on your computer screen, and you're basically just filming the screen, and then you can import them files into Windows Movie Maker, which is another free program which you should have on your PC. And Windows Movie Maker allows you, again, to edit clips of, of either pictures or, or moving film from a camcorder and you can actually create a DVD product with a DVD menu where you can click on buttons at the start of the DVD so it gives your uh, item a professional feel that it's a proper DVD. You then of course can burn the DVD in your computer one by one or you want to go to the next stage up you can go and buy yourself a multi CD or DVD burner. Uh, I've got an in-house one which is, I think is a one in seven I think I paid about £235 for that, I still use it now for small runs and then you, after you've gone to that stage and you start selling more and more of product, you can go to the next stage where you can find a supplier who will actually either print and burn your CDs and package them up for you, or you can just send them off to be professionally printed so that your DVDs look actually professional if you don't want to print them indoors or you haven't got a printer indoors. Don't try and do everything at once. One step at a time. Start off slowly at the bottom line with free stuff. And then as you get further down, the more experience you go, the more you start selling then you can start to automate your business. Don't try and run before you can walk. Anyway, there's another little tip for you there. I'll speak to you again shortly. Thanks very much and goodbye.